I'm Rocco Stano and welcome to Storymakers. Today, our guest is not here in the Kid Lit TV studio. She's back in her home state of Oklahoma and we'd love to welcome Tracy Sorrell. Welcome, Tracy. OCO, Rocco. OCO is how we say hello in Cherokee. I'm delighted to be here. So your book is entitled, We Are Grateful, Ojali Heliga. And that is a Cherokee word, right? Yes. Ojali Heliga means we are grateful in Cherokee. Your book is about the four seasons and also about the Cherokee culture. As you mentioned, I do live in Northeastern Oklahoma. I also live within the Cherokee Nation. My mother's family is from the Cherokee people, and that is a tribe within the United States that has been here long before the United States ever existed. What was your inspiration for writing the book? When I became a parent, I realized after reading many, many books about traditional Cherokee stories and telling my son our traditional Cherokee stories and then reading stories from other tribes that the majority of books for children only featured stories that we'd gotten from our ancestors that were you know, hundreds and thousands of years old. And I thought, okay, where are the books that feature our Cherokee people and our ways of life today? So I, I knew that I needed to write that book. And so the book starts, as you mentioned, in fall, and it goes through the four seasons. And we look at Cherokee culture and the things that we're grateful for, or things that we struggle for all across the four seasons. But we start in the fall because that's when the Cherokee New Year begins. So tell us about growing up as a Cherokee child. So I grew up learning about um, our culture, the plant life, my mother, um, always had a garden. We were always outside um, growing our food or gathering food. She would tell me all kinds of things about different plants and um, animals. And so I grew up, you know, out in the woods, out on the land, and it was a wonderful time to spend with a lot of family and to hear stories about our family um, and our traditional stories. There are many Cherokee words uh, in uh, the book. Now, when you were a child, did you learn the Cherokee language? Did you speak Cherokee? No, unfortunately, um, at that time, there was really a push to not have people speaking Cherokee. The push really was for everyone to speak English. So I didn't actually take my first Cherokee class until I was in college, and I studied it, uh, and I'm the first person in my family to go to college and graduate with a four-year degree but I took classes as an undergrad and also in graduate school. So can you teach me some Cherokee words? I would love to. Let's start with the word fall. Uli go husdi. Uli go kaski. Very good. Here's the word for grandma. Elisi. Elisi. Yes, and that's what my son calls my mother. How about ani? Ani? Ani is strawberry. Ah, okay. I like some ani and cream. Yes. yes. Strawberries are very important to Cherokee people. We always plant them in our gardens and we have a huge festival every June and you'll see lots of uh, Cherokee folks celebrating the first crop of strawberries coming out. We even have an ancestral story about Creator bringing us strawberries to help first man and first woman resolve a conflict. So this is a picture book, so you must have a favorite illustration, or a, as we say when it's on two pages, a spread. I actually have many. It's hard to pick. The illustrator, my friend, Frene Lessig, has made such beautiful pictures that are so full of color and so many things to look at in each one. But I do have one in particular, and it's this one. It features the Cherokee stomp dance. That is our traditional dancing that we do all night long. It starts after the sun goes down. And in that picture, you'll see that there's a gentleman with a white hat and a purple shirt. And he is the leader. He has been called out to start the singing and everyone is lined up, man, woman, man, woman, after him. And they're going around the fire. I bet our viewers who have read your book have noticed that in each picture, there is a woodpecker. My friend Frenet, who made the wonderful, beautiful artwork in the book, 
decided that she wanted to put something in that children reading the book could enjoy on every page and to find. It's actually a pileated woodpecker and they are super tall. They are eight to 12 inches tall and they live in the eastern woodlands of the United States and it's typically been used as a symbol of war but we also use it today in our stickball game which is a social game that we play. I also noticed that the illustrator included a cat and dog that's very special to, to her. So uh, what's the story behind that? The dog and the cat are actually based on her dog and cat. So when I visit with um, students at schools or I'm in the libraries, and I actually show the picture of her cat Milo, who is often with her in the studio, and he loves to drink her paint water. But thankfully it's non-toxic, so he doesn't get sick. And her dog Banjo is also another companion. You have another favorite page that you want to show us. This is um, a wonderful example of grandparents sitting around the table with a family telling stories. We're eating uh, some of our traditional foods, bean bread, which is like a cornbread with pinto beans baked into it and a uh, hominy soup. And when you look at that picture, look and see what the kids are doing and what the animals are doing. Um, because that's something that I think happens in a lot of households where the kids are sneaking food to the cat and the dog. And <laughs> I just love that all those generations of family are there because uh, in our culture, in Cherokee culture, our grandparents and our aunts and uncles and our cousins our siblings, everyone are so important to us and we love to gather together and share a meal and share stories and a lot of laughter. So do you have one particular uh, Cherokee tradition that's your favorite? Just over um, Labor Day weekend every year we will celebrate the Cherokee National Holiday. We'll have over 60,000 people come to Tahlequah, Oklahoma, the capital of the Cherokee Nation, and we have a parade, our chief gives the State of the Nation address, we have traditional games, but we'll have softball tournaments, we have a lot of traditional foods that we'll share, and it's, it's a wonderful time where we celebrate that we're still here, we're a strong and vibrant community and culture and sovereign nation. Well, thank you so much, uh, Tracy, for coming to uh, KidLit TV and sharing all this uh, really interesting information about the Cherokee Nation. Tracy, how do you say goodbye in Cherokee? We say Dota da goha e, which is until I see you or until we see each other again. Dona da goha e. Thank you. Until we see each other again. And I will say to you, Wado, which is how we say thank you for this wonderful visit today. So remember, until next time, read a book in any format.